It was great to kick today off with a look back at just some of the seminal moments of the last 25 years. And what better way to bridge our past and our future than with a game that's graced every PlayStation console, Grand Theft Auto. It's been a privilege partnering with Rockstar Games for many years now, and we're thrilled to open today with the news that that partnership will continue with PlayStation 5. It's now just over a year since we began sharing technical details of PlayStation 5, but today's the day that we've been looking forward to for years, when we get to show you just some of the games that demonstrate our belief that PlayStation 5 mocks the biggest generational transition our industry has yet seen. The content we've curated for today's event showcases how PS5 has inspired developers to create new experiences that are transformative in how they look, sound, and feel. Enough from me. We're going to have the games do our talking. Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry, guys. This bar and hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant! Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, duh! I love it! I, I gotta remember to write that down. And to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andreas, taking notes? This stuff? Whoa! Pure magic. I should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so, well done with our uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. Then why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up their questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. Huh. My career depends on this. And that's very important to me. So seeing as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. Now run along, kids. Is that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, I, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T, enough with the faux political bullshit! <sighs> Franklin, come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't Bill. Whoa. Well, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of, uh, son I never had bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen, if you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. <sighs> all right, guys, listen, this is the shot. 
I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right. And we do this, and they help us spring Brad, right? Yeah. We'll talk about Brad later, all right? I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah, whatever. The government gimp at last. Eh, ah, bite me. Let's go! Alright, let's do this thing. This thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. You think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't stop. Cinema equipment, not surveillance. Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. Oh. Fuck around while I'm out there. I'll climb back up this rope and strangle you with it. Yeah. You think you're impenetrable? See how you feel with this is 18 inches deep inside. Get the loot. Actually, fuck the loot. Let's dry dock it. Get the world thinks you're dead, genius. Soon you'll be wishing you were. It easy. Oh, oh, come on, give the guy a break. Uh, I'm gonna get out of this shit. Ha <laughs> ha! In bed with the bureau and a new running buddy. Yeah, he's more of a protege. Yeah, what? You gonna teach him to be old before his time? Yeah, or to never grow up. That seems like a good kid. Michael, huh, look at this, huh? New city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. All right, Trevor, I'll see you later. Oh, you better believe it, buddy.
ça veut dire. Mais qu'est-ce Mais est-ce que les choses se passent ou quoi reason otherwise why don't we just keep it that way steve what a pleasure bro oh <laughs> <laughs> he reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections <laughs> hey devin weston is a very good friend of mine you watch your tongue because let me tell you something that guy gets more tail than uh <laughs> than a tail catcher <laughs> have to fucking remember that line <laughs> you hmm. where did we meet nowhere pal yeah we did hey oh what are we doing here huh this Please. Keep the sleep bastard the way from me. No, 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 Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. You know? So, You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> <laughs> And the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know. What did you tell them? And what did they tell you? I, I, hmm? told, I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I. Hey! This whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 I'm no. tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency no. taking all the glory. Let me go. All right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, you get to work, and uh, I'm not here. <laughs> This place, Davy. They've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him, just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? 
Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Wait, what are you talking about, the wrong guy? No, who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Huh, please, look at me, please. Come on, we haven't broken him yet. This'll put hair on your chest. I don't need the jump stuff. I am ready to talk. Don't zap me. You can't! Not the clip! Don't do it! getting a stiffy. <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. I did his home theater. He lives in Chuma, right into the Western Highway. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash. You're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want to do. Loosen him know. up. No, please. You gotta be a sick fuck to want to be a dentist. Are you still alive? They've been whining. Please don't. Oh, well, you ain't gonna be chewing steak anytime soon. I just wanna get out of here. Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk. It's the day I got kidnapped six weeks ago. That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy we're after, what does he look like? I was built. I was height, middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. <sighs> That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit, I, let me think, I remember. Ah! Sorry, too oh. late, Trevor. Show our contestant what he's wanted. I remember, oh, okay. I remember, I remember. Woo! It ain't even the biggest tool in the room. What? Oh, oh, it's going to hurt. Is it the small one? Knee shot. Ah! Ah! Hasn't this man done enough for national security? It's coming! The light! Let me go through it! <laughs> so what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 uh-huh. No. I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not. Huh? No. Yeah? I'm telling the truth. Bushy beard? Got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. Huh. No. 
You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our informant and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. I need eyes on that party. Pick up the scope and give me a report. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble going to cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It'll be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. Oh, he, he's, he's got beard. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to be sure. No, please, no. Uh -huh. I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. They'll be doing this shit at elementary schools in no time. It's legal, bro. Legal. What if you get it wrong? I got blood in my mouth. Torturer! Oh! I was wrong! Say this! Alone! Alone! Don't... <laughs> I don't see what all the fuss is about, person. He's wet, all right. Let up. I know it's legal, but he can still drown. Let up. He might drown. Are we gonna get him up? I'm alive. I'm alive. Today's lesson is about government regulation. Lesson? This is meaningless. Mr. K. Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. Okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Red with cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. <laughs> Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets he should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. About well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. Run. Wood smoking, bearded, maybe, could be, used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <coughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. Wait a second, me too. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. And what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. Oh, fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? Now look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on.
from your family yeah sure no that's a lie I haven't heard a fucking thing damn that's fucked up man yeah well not gonna matter we're all gonna be dead in about a half hour anyway what's going on ladies hello Trevor what kept you business Michael business uh. all right I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time-consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh -huh. You know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us... Please, just... fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Uh -huh. oh, ho, hold on, man. Could y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a frickin' lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, 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 Let's go. You three can do it alone. And I fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on, come on, Mr. Leisure Wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency, and they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Let the go. Ha, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. Wow. <laughs> so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 You're... no, 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 there is no getting it straight, that's the point. Now we're doing this! You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us! What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton, been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we save for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here it goes.
Are you sure about that? I'm taking the oxyhydro cutter to the grate. That's burning at over three and a half thousand degrees. Yeah, thanks for the science lesson. Can I keep this for the next vault I hit? That gas won't last forever, so cut smart. That should do it. at this moment that Nathan knew. He fucked up.
お前はもう死んでいる Chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Huh? You and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What's this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. やっぱりこれだなちょっと待ったーカップヌードルより辛い飯いえこっちもお湯を注ぐだけ5分待ったら出来上がり混ぜると無駄にうまくなるすすらなくていいから食べさせやすいおいしい麺と飯どっちが好き、ね、ふらふらとにかくファーストバイト、ね、うーわ何この感覚私が間違ってました麺より飯カレー飯 I high rate of violence and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. PlayStation. A man has fallen into the river in Lego City. Start the new rescue helicopter. Hey, build the helicopter. And off to the rescue. Prepare the lifeline. 
lower the stretcher and make the rescue. The new emergency collection from Lego City. Your son, James. He's a good kid. He's a good kid? A, a good kid. Why? Does he help the fucking poor? No. He sits on his ass all day, smoking dope and jerking off while he plays that fucking game. If that's our standard for goodness, then no wonder this country's screwed. And what about you? What about me? Hey. I don't have the advantages that kid has. By the time I was his age, I'd already been in prison twice. I robbed banks. I ran whores. I smuggled dope. And you consider them achievements? These were the opportunities I had. At least I took them. And where did these opportunities get you, Michael? They got me right fucking here. The end of the road. With a big house and a useless kid, and I'm stuck talking to you because no one else gives a shit. Oh, I'm living a dream, baby. And that dream is fucked. It is fucking fucked. Let it all out. I think I just did. <sighs> oh. Well, I think that's all we have time for. Same time next week? I guess. Oh. I gotta tell you, I ain't too sure this shit is working for me. Hmm. Well, a sense of overriding futility is a vital part of the process. Embrace it. Whatever you say, Doc. you're talking about I know you did that fucking jewelry job Dave seriously you're imagining things fuck you all right I did it arrest me you know what you'll be saving my life because you called it motherfucker what you called it Trevor a couple days ago but we haven't really talked about anything either but if no when he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> Uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... Then we better go about saving it together, because... You and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy. Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? <laughs> I have always kind of liked you. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen 
suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. Back from the dead, motherfucker! Come out! Hands in the air! Hi. I'm decorated FIB agent Stephen Haynes. The FIB, the police department, the sheriff's office are fighting a war out here every day in a city where dreams too often become wet with tears. The Los Santos Docks. This is where it all begins. The second largest port in the world. The great orifice of American capitalism. Stuff coming in, garbage going out and hidden in over two million containers a day. God only knows what. The cartels pay off some low-level schlub and suddenly you've got military-grade weapons, badly cut crystal meth, and grade-A yayo from Mexico flooding our streets. And once it hits the hood, it's anarchy. Inside a murder, hold the prize. Or maybe the Chinese are slipping some of our high-security weapons systems in with the recycling. And we're giving up our national security for nothing? Who knows? Who cares? As long as the financial party continues, we'll just keep picking up pieces. A word to the wise, kids. Never use PCP. It makes you want to punch cops or run around naked. Not necessarily always in that order. Most of the time, this Alyssa cargo makes it straight to the games. But sometimes, an ordinary Joe lets go and loses his shit after a pipe or two of pleasure dust. The Vagos, bloodthirsty Jacanos with a predilection for pain, papaya juice, and spicy plantains. They're one of the largest Mexican street gangs in the city, with rumored connections to several major mafias. While half the battle out here is fought with guns, the other half is with informants. Sometimes you need to become the bad guys to bust the bad guys. All right, guys, let's go. When the Ballas and the families aren't shooting each other, they're selling the dope that the junkies are shooting into their veins. The families love sports almost as much as they love banging. Flashy, arrogant, competitive, and aggressive, they are lifelong bitter enemies of the Ballas. Wearing the colors of the feud or the corkers, the families call themselves gang green. Of course, like all families, they love a good squabble. Subdivided into sets, such as the Chamberlain Gangsters or the Carson Avenue set, it turns out the families love shooting each other almost as much as they love shooting Ballas. Now the LSPD have had many run-ins with various family sets over the years. With the Ballas, the FIB take a more community outreach approach. Hey, hey guys, stay out of trouble now. They suck my dick, Steve f***ing Haynes. On our next episode, I, Stephen Haynes, will show you the flashier side of crime in Los Santos. Illegal street racing, cocaine, and vice. Yes, speed, snort, and sex. The alliterative threesome that helped hook America on the underbelly of paradise. Hey. Thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside? Show sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Do you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. Now, Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo... It... 
Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, I've got a question for you. What did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I was a thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. <sighs> well, Natalia will <sighs> need a hotel while you finance the rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that it, the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range. <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, though. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy. You can say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, come whoa! On, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American action. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you. We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather. What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh, same goddamn leg. <laughs> Black 
I'm not really Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know. No. Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you... You're a killer. You know? You are a man of action! You do not sit on couches, you take scores! You're back, man. We are back! Alright? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad, and then we're golden, man! Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. Howdy. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're gonna do this last big job, and then we're gonna dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me! All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family! Yeah, well, I got nothing! No one gives a fuck about me! I do. Oh, fuck you! I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead! You're fucking dead! Trevor! Hey! T! ミント<笑>
Well, Michael, I see you're back around and making time for your mental health. Yeah, I don't know why I came. Hmm. What do you want, Michael? I don't know. Just... I just want... I want something that isn't this. You know? This caring about two things at once. I mean, I want to be a good dad. Love my family. You know, live the dream. But at the same time... I really want the other stuff, too. I suppose you haven't really considered the fact that by neglecting your therapy, you've guaranteed these behavioral relapses. No, I hadn't considered that. So, pal, what's the source of conflict this time? Things are kind of on the uptick, Doc. There's no greater concern than optimism. <sighs> Where are we now? All right, the fuck is this bullshit? We handled your little immigration problem, whatever the fuck it was. We're straight. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. You killed people, you tortured people, committed a litany of other crimes. Oh, we're so straight, you and me. We're arrows. Davey, you can't do anything about this fucking turd? Yeah, Dave. What can you do about me? Here's Trevor. Gee, you right. Looky, looky, huh? A bunch of government shitbags and their favorite stoolie. What's he been telling you? Oh, he just said how you guys were happy to help the government in any way you can. Oh, really? Huh? Because I was told that if we helped out with that thing, which we did, then our past indiscretions would be forgotten in a haze of patriotic fervor. Who told you that? Did I tell you that? I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying... <laughs> oh, you're good. The three cunts. Listen, we need help with something else. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. Not, uh, not your bit, right? Yes, but we're corrupt in a good way. But the agency, they want to encourage panic so they can guarantee their budgets. That's how they get paid. It's a major problem. And now they've secured some funds that we need to use in our fight against crime as a way of bribing corrupt officials. Really? And where are they getting that from? Drugs. Those bastards love to sell drugs. Who doesn't? Huh? Look at this dude. <laughs> Fuck you, Dave. We don't have time to prepare the right way. <laughs> it's not my concern. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're gonna be doing pat-downs at the airport before those fucking clowns are done with us. You know, fuck you. Hey, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Now, how the fuck we gonna get this done? I don't know. It's getting hard to keep track. Who wants to kill me at any given moment? <laughs> Trevor still wants to eat my liver, but we're playing nice because we're working a job together. The FIB, they want me dead ah, because I'm no longer useful to them. The investor guy who hooked me up with the studio, he's pissed off because I didn't burn it down for him. Los Santos, a city of saints, a city of sinners, and nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! This is a land of dreams. But sometimes those dreams turn into nightmares. Stop! Cut! Cut. Okay, all right. You got this frame right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is it chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? A city of celluloid. A city of scumbag. Okay, fine, we're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. Stop! Cut! Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look at what happens when dreams and reality collide. Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. I've tracked down killers, attacked incompetence, and taken down terror cells. And tonight, I'm in your living room. Oh my god! But, the wife and kids are back under the roof. So, maybe things are okay.
Mm-hmm. Well, family is important, Michael. But make sure you want them there for the right reasons. Any other acting out, friend? Tell me. <sighs> sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I I'm two different people. You know, I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. I want to be good, Doc. I really do. But then I get angry. Hey, man. How you doing? Shit, I'm good, T. And yourself? <sighs> Peachy! I know what this is about. You do? Of course! It's Michael! You're the peacemaker! Well, I ain't having it, all right? I ain't having it. I mean, maybe when the heat dies down, but this and I ain't having it. I mean, that's it, right? Huh? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? But Michael ain't the problem. T, I like you. You scare the shit out of me sometimes. You creep me the fuck out. But, but the way I see it, the way anyone normal will see it, not that any of this shit is normal. Man, you gonna get us all fucking killed. You gonna whack me? Huh? Me? I ain't been nothing but straight and true with you. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, you have been true with me. But the truth ain't what I'm interested in. You fucking shoot him! else? Look, I made a few mistakes, Doc. Pretty bad ones, but in the last few days, it's been a lot better. Well, I suppose you seeing the problems you cause is progress of a sort. So, I feel like there's progress in some areas and, you know, none in others. <sighs> oh, hey, there you are. What's cracking? So, we all good? Hell yeah, we all good. We did it. Yeah, you fucking ain't right, we did. So, here's the shot. Lester's offloading the gems. He knows a guy. Get us 50 cents on the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, we might actually have a little spending money left after we pay off that psychotic Mexican motherfucker. Whew. Cheers. So that's that, right? I hope so. The whole job. Everything about it. Anyone who knows your file, what is wrong with you? Davey! Long time no see. And what about Trevor? If that fruitcake realizes, no, no, finds out you're alive, you are D-O-N-E fucked! Yeah, don't worry about Trevor. Trevor's dead. It's gotta be. Besides, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Whatever the hell it is you're talking about. Huh. Really? The criminals are believed to escape with millions of dollars worth of gems, oh. precious stones, and hey. rings. Albert Story had a lucky escape when the thieves ran straight into him. Yeah, I was just doing my job, and I said to this guy, hey, you gotta move these bikes. I don't know anything about that. That's incredible stuff. I don't think I've ever heard such a barrage of denial, self-justification, and outright horror. The thing is, Michael, here, can we just get a quick photo together? Cheese. What is this? I really think I can't treat you anymore. The fact is, 
I'm in love with you. What the fuck are you talking okay, about, Okay, well, Doc? that's not true. <laughs> Good. You're learning. Good. What's going on? Nothing. It's just... I think you need a new therapist. And I'm leaving town. I've got a TV show. I'm gonna be famous. I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> think of the fucking tale. All those fucking bitches who called me pube head. Oh, <laughs> they'll be lining up to suck it now. You got a TV show. You! Uh, best not to think too closely about what I just said. It's not like I'll be using real names or anything. <laughs> I'm really discreet. <laughs> Bye now. Fuck. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? You seem kind of agitated. Man, shit ain't good right now. I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, baby, what's up? Really? Tracy? College? Our Tracy? R real college? You gotta be kidding me. That's great. All right, well, hey, listen, let me talk to you a little later, all right? Yeah, I just gotta wrap up some business here. All right, bye. Ah, uh, Amanda. Says she wants me to bring you around the house sometime for dinner. One of these nights, huh? Fuck. I mean, I don't know what I did to deserve this motherfucking luck. Got my kids back, my wife, got a job that I love. I mean, I made it. We made it. You and me, bro. <laughs> what? I like you, dog, and you know this. I risked everything for your ass, dog. What is this? Look, man. Me and you know this shit ain't over, dog. We both really. The fuck is this? You? You, you came here to fucking clip me? You? Fuck. Come on, you prick. I taught you everything you know. Not everything. I was here long before you, and I'll be here after your ass. Well, we'll see about that, you fuck. I'll take you every time. Every fucking time! Yeah? 
fucking A right! Fuck you! 